what's up youtube oh my gosh it's been so long since i uploaded a post like i know it's been almost a year since i last uploaded a post and it was a very different post my last post um i just came to y'all real raw or whatever and i'm coming back to y'all real raw um i was inspired by my boy real uh y'all make sure y'all follow him real too real i'm gonna tag him on there or uh, whatever you know he inspired me to get back on youtube um and i've had other people saying they miss me on youtube so i've been if you follow me on instagram or facebook i've been showing my whole entire journey uh ooh. <laughs> yeah this has been one hell of a journey but i'm loving it it's not a bad journey uh but i'm coming to y'all um uh, i'm not here to give y'all updates is this for another video but i'm here because i i'm trying to tell y'all about my 21 day fast um so i did a thing where i challenged everybody uh well i decided to do it myself because i challenged myself first and then i decided to just challenge everybody else since i've been on my motivating stuff you know and just inspiring other people so i did a 21 day fast for the new year and um uh, basically it was um uh, where i did um uh, the first seven days was raw alkaline vegan by the way i am fully alkaline vegan i've been alkaline vegan for probably about four plus months now or probably right at four months uh so first seven days i did raw alkaline vegan second seven days i did all fruit in the last seven days i did water tea and herbs and um uh, of course, I did my water, tea, and herbs during every time. And so my challenge to everybody else, I know that everybody is not on the same level that I'm on. So I challenge everybody else to basically eliminate something from your eating. Or it could even be something that's physical, like, or even social media or something like that. But just eliminate something and keep eliminating uh, every seven days. So... I had a couple people to hop on board. I had, I know I had two people for sure that was with me on this raw alkaline vegan journey because they was already raw alkaline. I mean, they was already alkaline. Um, so yeah, um, I'm just going to give y'all the scoop on the good, the bad, and the ugly. I'm not, I'm just going to give it to y'all raw. Like, so the first seven days, raw alkaline vegan. Not bad. Like, I didn't realize, I mean, because since I've been alkaline, I've been doing a lot of cooking and I found, I've always had, a, I always had passion when I cooked, but um, now that I literally have to cook and make everything from scratch, I cannot eat out nowhere, like, not even at these vegan places. Um, I, you know, you gotta love what you do, you know, so... I've grown a whole new passion and thinking about even starting a whole career with this, you know, cooking thing. But anyway, so I didn't realize that I was going to truly miss cooking. Um, so for the first seven days, it was cool. You know, I was trying to keep everybody uh, posted on, on a journey and stuff like that because a lot of people said they wanted to, you know, keep up with what I had going on. So I just was posting my pictures and just telling even when i couldn't take a picture just telling what i'll you know i ate for the day and all of that stuff so one of my cool little meals i made was like a zucchini pasta and um i put like some yellow bell peppers and tomatoes and um and and i i um i put like avocado sauce on top and seasoning and all that stuff and i kept it raw so that was a cool little meal then the other little meal i made was like a mockery of a tuna salad and i put it in a, a romaine lettuce wrap so that was cool the other days i just made salads i just kind of winged it or whatever 
So th that wasn't bad. Um, then the second seven days, we did um, all fruit. Now, that was pretty cool. Like, at first, I was so nervous. Like, oh, my gosh, we're just literally doing fruit, in which I love fruit. So, um, we just did all fruit, all alkaline fruit, not just regular fruit. But um, it was it was a beautiful thing. Like, I loved it. it I, I didn't mind it at all. Like, it was filling uh, because avocado, I probably incorporated avocado, like, almost every day because avocado is considered fruit. Um... So it was pretty cool, you know. One day I do a mashed avocado, next day, you know, I I just got really creative with it and like a lot of these fruits out here are kind of filling, you know, and it just I don't know, I felt just so juicy and like I felt like I just smelled good and all of that stuff. Hey. And um so it was it was pretty dope. Now, the last seven days that water, herbs, and tea. Baby, who struggled was me. I mean, I was already nervous about it. Like, oh my gosh, like I'm really finna do this. Now, mind you, I never, ever completed a fast for 21 days. Over, I haven't completed a fast over 10 days, actually. And so, this was a huge challenge for me. I mean, it was easy to for the first two uh, things because I was already alkaline vegan. So, I had already kind of trained, you know, uh, my stomach and my mind. Uh, because, you know, usually in the beginning of the day, I don't, I, I don't eat. I just uh, really just... Uh, drink my water take my herbs i'll do a tea in the morning and then maybe like after 12 like around 12 1 or 2 i'll do some fruit or whatever and then like maybe four or five depending on how i'm feeling i'll do like my meal or you know more fruit or whatever until i get home to eat my meal so i had kind of trained myself like i wasn't always hungry all the time so that's why I did pretty good, like, during the whole uh, thing. But, yeah, so back to that last seven days. <laughs> um, Yeah, so first off, I got thrown off because uh, my apartments had, um, they had, some was up with the hot water. So I was, like, dealing with that for a couple of days and so my uh landlord thankfully i have a um uh he end of it's like an individual owner so thankfully i do have him um so he actually put me in a hotel for a couple of days and i was like oh my gosh this would be great you know what i'm saying especially with the things that i'm going through like it's like a new start and stuff like that so I was like, maybe I need this. Okay, I'm taking advantage. I'm so excited. I'm getting this hotel room. Mind y'all. Hey, man, this alkaline lifestyle. <laughs> hey, anywhere I go, I'm taking all types of kitchen stuff. Like, so I went to this hotel room. I had more kitchen stuff. And mind you, I'm doing a water fast. So I had like my fruits for the night. You know, because this was the night that I was transitioning to the water fast. So, I had my fruits for the night. And then I had all these cups and herbs and stuff like that getting ready to make my tea. And I already called them ahead of time to make sure they was going to have like a little coffee maker thing in my room. So, I can make my tea and blah, blah, blah. Mind you, I never even used a coffee maker. So, I guess in my room, I'm looking at this little coffee maker, baby something that they look like they got from a dollar tree mind you this is an upscale hotel and i'm looking at this thing it looked like they got it from out the storage pulled some cobwebs off that thing and i'm like ain't no way like i ain't had no dish water and all this stuff. i'm like ain't no way i'm finna put my spring water up in this coffee maker <laughs> and um so yeah so that night i you know i went without my tea that next morning i went without my tea and I had to like run errands and stuff like that. And uh, so 
I was talking to my cousin that's doing that's on the journey too or whatever, and I was like, "You think we could do nuts?" And she was like, "Yeah, I'm doing nuts." So I'm like, "Okay." So I guess I'm gonna do nuts too. So I was doing, I was eating a lot of walnuts. Now I don't, I don't know. I don't think we was supposed to be doing that. So, but I survived. I survived the day, and then so, like, um, I was telling her that. You know, I, I, I survived, but I struggled, you know. I was like, I need my tea because I know my tea is going to help me to, like, suppress my appetite because I have my sea moss gel in it, my sarsa perilla, uh, bladder rack, my burdock root, like, all of the, ne the necessities that I need daily or whatever. So, I knew I had to go to work the next morning, and uh, she was telling me, and I knew I wasn't going to be able to make the tea, so she was telling me that she will be able to, like, bring me some tea to the shop man like i don't know what was i don't know i guess i don't know if it was a gloomy day or if i got a hold to some bad energy but i had something in my stomach that was like so somebody told me um shout out to jesse parks he had said like be careful you know with you doing this fast and stuff with you eating clean like this because you're gonna easily, you know, catch on, catch other people' energies and stuff. And mind you, I I do that on a regular basis, but I didn't realize how really it was. So yeah, I feel like I got a hold to some bad energy or something. But it was like some in my stomach. Like I was just like, I just was like feeling like gloomy and down and just, you know, like just sad i couldn't even smell like you know i wanted to smile wanted to be happy but i i couldn't so um i hope that ain't my client um yeah i believe it is so yeah um i'm sorry yeah so yeah i was just i was just feeling down and um I didn't know what was up. So the next day she um she brought me some tea to work and y'all my energy level got back up. Like I felt so much better. I mean I wasn't completely good, but I, I felt so much better. Um and so I I got got on with my day and, and finally I had a break at work and then I, I went back I went home and made me some more tea, some ginger tea or whatever and i felt better then too so i'm realizing okay i need to have some tea so i got i ordered me a little kettle and a teapot for the shop so i can constantly make tea while i'm at work so yeah so the next day you know i did that the tea help and um i was like okay i'm gonna challenge myself to not do any walnuts so i left my walnuts at home and so i did good all through the day but once i got home I seen them doggone walnuts just was like, eat me, eat me. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to just eat a little bit of walnuts. So I ate a couple walnuts. And, y'all, you can't just eat a couple nuts, especially when you ain't ate nothing. I ate the rest of that bag. Oh, my gosh. So I was like, okay, good thing I ate the rest of the bag. I'm not going to open the next bag. <laughs> like, I'm going to just stay right. So I'm like, I'm going to challenge myself to not eat no nuts for the rest of the time because i'm asking my cousin you know that she eating this she like nah she ain't eating none that day or whatever so i'm like okay i'm finna push through you know without it or whatever so the next three days i went without the nuts but y'all for one when i felt like i had got sick to my stomach and stuff i realized that okay Everybody was asking me because I was trying to, like I said, I was trying to keep everybody posted about everything. And so everybody was asking me, like, um, how is it making me feel? How is it affecting me and all this stuff? And y'all, I couldn't even answer that question because I was so busy, like, helping people. Like, oh my gosh, I've been helping so many people when I, since I started this alkaline journey, and which I love doing that. Um, but I realized, okay, the whole purpose of me doing this fast is to like focus on what I'm trying to do for the new year. Like, you know, just challenge myself to like 
truly like heal my body and all of that stuff and i don't feel like i don't feel I don't feel any different from when I was just doing a regular alkaline journey. So I'm like, you know what? I have to really like, um, like go into a cocoon. Like I had to stay off of social media. I'll go on there, scroll a little bit and then just get off. But I had to like disconnect myself from everything and everybody. And, um, I didn't mean no harm, but and it really helped. So I just I just did a lot of meditating. I did a lot of writing down ideas. Uh my mind was clear. Um super clear. Like I I even turned down some engagements. Hey, turned down some engagements and all of that um stuff. Like I had to like really focus. And then um Monday, which was the 20th day, which was yesterday, I um I was at work. I had to work all day and y'all baby the tea. Now I'm gonna tell y'all something that sea mouse gel is super duper powerful because anytime I feel hungry I could take a spoonful of that and it'll instantly go away. That hunger will instantly go away. So when you fast in that sea mouse gel is a must. For real. I know I took a lot of sea moss during that time. Uh, but on Monday, like I said, I was working, working, working. And this, I was using the sea moss gel. And, but it was like I was having to do more and more and more. And I was realizing like, um, like how I was talking and how I was coming across. I was getting like very irritated. And I was just very blunt and just saying stuff that... I didn't even think twice about saying so I just was thinking about it all day and I'm like ain't no way I can go one more day like this you know because now I'm like okay I think it's time for me to you know uh, go on call it quit so I mean every day me and my cousin we hit each other up like hey how you doing how you doing on this you know so I hit her up like, girl, it's been a struggle. And so I was just telling her how I was feeling. And she was literally feeling the same way. So I was like, man, we did a really, really good job on this. Like, we stayed strong. And I was like, you ready to go ahead and just break this thing? Like, we got one more day. And she was like, man, I'm ready to break it. So... <laughs> But instantly, I went to the kitchen. I ain't had no fruits, no veggies, no nothing. So I made me some hemp seed milk. And I got my little commute cereal. And I ate two bowls of cereal. And I ate some walnuts. Y'all, ooh, it was life. And I feel a whole lot better today. Cause, and, I, and I'm just like, I honestly do not believe that I will ever do that water fast again. Unless it's like a one day fast or maybe like, I could probably even go two days possibly, but baby, that water fast was something serious. So yeah, that that's that's the good, bad, and the ugly. Um, I did get some bright, super bright ideas out of it. And I hope that my body did a lot more healing. I did get to see a side of myself that, you know that I needed to see. Um, I got to see like what was going on, what I was doing in my life. And I had to really like step back and uh, I just really got a chance to observe and all of that stuff. I really wish I would have kind of kept to myself a little bit longer than just the water fast. So I could really, really focus and see what's going on. But overall it was a, it was a definitely a challenge, you know, and I, I just, all I can do is just pat myself on the back because I feel like I did a really good job to go that long and that strong, you know, with all the temptation. And I will say, too, during that fast, like, my senses were, like, super duper, super duper strong. Like, my smelling, my, just my vision, like, my hearing, everything was just, like, super duper strong. So, yeah. That that's that's pretty much it. That's how I went. Um 
Yeah, I ain't doing that water fast. Yeah, I don't think so. But the fruit fast and the raw alkaline, that definitely was lit. Um, but it was a beautiful thing. It definitely was a challenge. And so, yeah, that's how I go. Uh, Y'all stay tuned to my YouTube channel. I'm going to be posting some more stuff. I'm going to get more active on here. I got a whole lot of plans for the new year. So, y'all stay tuned.